So, I know as many of you have heard, they are planning to renovate Old Trafford, Manchester United Stadium of Classic, of Heritage, of Sustainability. Old Trafford holds many history and many memories for Manchester United fans and those alike. Manchester United's Old Trafford is a very historic ground that's obviously, you know, had its fair share of issues over the past few years. Obviously, with the leaky roof, that's probably one of the more famous ones. Um, and obviously different things going on within the stadium that do need to be updated. But the thing that they're talking about here is re-innovating the stadium and possibly moving it 100 yards to the right or to the left. Because I heard about that before. They were talking about moving the stadium completely, like moving it over 100 yards. I, who cares? Like I'm, I'm going to keep it a stack, right? Update the stadium to the modern times. Obviously, get the roof fixed, all that stuff. But the stadium doesn't need to be moved. The stadium is fine. What needs to happen is to start winning some trophies on the field. What needs to happen is to get the football team under control. Like, you know, get, get the team in order. Get the players, you know, playing. And start winning some trophies. That's what needs to happen. That's what the money should be going into. Not um, updating the stadium, updating the turnstiles. Oh, we got a new um, ticket scanner. Oh, um, um, uh, um, uh, whatever. Oh, the, you know, the, we got LED boards. Update. Who cares? Oh, we got new bench. Who cares? Update. Get, get this team under control. Let's start winning some trophies. Win a Champions League. Win a Premier League. Win a treble like Man City. Win that. Let's do that. Instead of updating the stadium, then it'll pay for itself. But Manchester United, Gary Neville, who is the right back Manchester United legend, part of Old Trafford Regeneration Task Force, headed up by Sebastian Co. Who are these people? Coza? Whatever. Manchester United announced Task Force to explore the regeneration of Old Trafford with the aim of developing a world-class stadium. Sebastian Co., who charitied the organizing committee for the 2012 Olympics in London, spearheads project, which also includes former Man United defender Gary Neville. Ex-Manchester United defender Gary Neville is part of a task force that will explore the regeneration of Old Trafford, with Sebastian Co. heading up the project, which aims to develop a world-class football stadium. Co., the former head of organizing the 2012 London Olympics, Stadium. Okay, the project comes after Man United's new owner, Sir Jim Ratcliffe. He has 25% of the club. He just came in. Outlined his plans last month to either redevelop Old Trafford, a build, or build a new stadium that could host England matches, FA Cup finals, and Champions League finals. So the Sir Jim Ratcliffe's guys come in. They're either going to plan to build a new stadium or to host games, FA Cup finals, and Champions League finals. So. And yeah, um, obviously Ratcliffe comes in. I want to knock Man City and Liverpool off their perch. A statement from the task force says, A joint task force has been created to explore options for regenerating the Old Trafford area of Greater Manchester with the development of a world-class football stadium at the heart of the project. The Old Trafford Regeneration Task Force will bring together local leaders and national experts to examine how stadium development can support renewal of an area of the city with rich industrial history and huge potential for the future and deliver just, just corporate jargon, blah, 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 blah. Win trophies. Let's win stuff. The, the stadium will... I'm telling you, if we want the treble, quadruple, everything will take care of itself. They don't need to move the stadium. Now, they need to fix the leaks in the roof, obviously. If, you know, if there's a broken sea, you know, hospital, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, you want to get that stuff with the times. But let's keep it real. The stadium holds a bunch of history. Now, they're talking about potentially tearing down the stadium and moving it 100 yards to the left. What is that doing? That's garbage. Oh, the stadium got new, um, you know, we got new bathrooms. Who cares? Like, I mean, well, I mean, obviously you want good bathrooms, but like, like, that's insignificant. I, I want to win. Win trophies. And now obviously people say, well, you know, if you have a good stadium, you'll win tro Whatever, man. Whatever. It's always an ad uh, excuse for everything, man. But anyway, um, chaired by Lord Sebastian Coe, the task force will assess the feasibility of a new stadium of national significance equipped with host international games and finals. I mean, Old Trafford can host international games and finals right now. Why can't they host this stuff now? They're big enough. It's more po it's popular enough. Everybody knows about Man United. Oh, man. I'm working in synergy with Trafford's council, Trafford, uh, Warfshide, Framework. Yeah, they got to go through all these people, the construction companies, to get the patent to do it. Yeah, they got to go through all that stuff just to move it 100, 200 yards to the left or to the right. Whatever, man. Just little insignificant stuff. And support the leveling up agenda to drive investment in the north of England. It would also reduce the over-concentration of major sporting venues and events in London and the southeast. Um... 
Ratcliffe has put together a 10-strong task force to examine the possibility of redeveloping the existing stadium. We already went over that. So, yeah, they're either going to redevelop it, update it with the times, probably expand the seating, uh, do a bunch of stuff, or they're just going to tear it down, which will be crazy, and build a new stadium probably not too far from where Old Trafford is at because they're not going to go that far. They, they've already said it'll be what, maybe 100 feet. What, what is 100 feet? That's nothing. Anyway... Um, I'm fortunate to have the privilege of playing in hundreds of games at Old Trafford, and no one can take away those memories. But Old Trafford has evolved throughout its history, and it's clear we are at a point where it has to change to ensure that Manchester United has a world-class hit. Well, it doesn't have to change. Nothing has to change. They just need to fix the roof. They need to fix a few things. But the, the, the stadium is fine. It has a rich history. Past players have played there. Why, why does it need to change so bad? Some things just don't need to be changed all the time. Obviously, fixing the leaky roof, that stuff should have been done. They make enough money. Why did why are they not addressing that? You know, they can get that done. Maybe, you know, up update, you know, maybe get new paint walls like Ronaldo said, paint the walls. Um, maybe update the locker rooms, the bathrooms. okay. But when Ronaldo was talking about um re renovating the stadium and updating the stadium, you know, you see the same gum gum splatter on the wall from ten years ago when he was here, fifteen years ago, and he's still seeing the same paint, the same stuff, the same ovens, the same but when he said it it's like um a time to go, right? But now it's like, well, well, we need to update the stadium now, you know, move it a hundred feet to the left, you know, possibly tear down the old thing. Please, man. Come on, man. Win trophies. Win trophies. While I want what the best for Manchester United, I also want the same for the surrounding community. Old Trafford should be a stadium for the whole greater Manchester can take pride in. They do take pride in the greater Manchester. Manchester United is very big over Manchester. They take pride in the stadium. It's, it's a nice, it's a beautiful stadium. It's fine. It just needs, you know, just some love. Like Ronaldo said, paint the walls, get the kitchens updated, get the locker rooms right, get the training ground right, get all that stuff updated. That's that's pretty much it. Get that stuff straight, and and, and, and the rest will follow. But it is what it is. Um, cohesive growth in the area that the city has been neglected for too long. Nah, it just seems big. It just seems upgrading. Um, United have played at the seventy-four thousand three hundred and ten capacity, Old Trafford since nineteen ten. Wow, so that's yeah. Over 100 years. That's crazy. And then, yeah. And they're talking about te potentially tearing it down. That's crazy to have to honor the opportunity. Yeah, this is babbling, man. British billionaire Radcliffe, who at the end of the year was 28% um, percent stake in United, um, whose Ineos company now controls football operation at Old Trafford, has supported Manchester United since the age of six. Yeah, whatever, man. Like I, like I said, when Ronaldo said to paint the walls, you know, and the stadium needs some updates, you know, with the locker rooms and stuff. That's like little basic stuff, you know, the ovens. Get, you know, get good ovens. We're Man United. Get good ovens. Have a good shower. Have good bathrooms. Have a good training ground. The grass should be cut even and nice. All this stuff. And he got he got put, he got kicked out for that. But now they're talking about updating the stadium now. Uh, Gary Neville, who played for Bag United, and these other guys are talking about now. Now it's no problem. That's hilarious to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Do y'all want to see Manchester United Old Trafford updated? I don't. It, uh, it, obviously, you know, the basic stuff needs updating, yes, to get with the times. But to move it 100 feet to the left and, and make a whole new sta stadium, that's garbage. Let me know what y'all think down below. It's been a you guys, and I'm out. Peace out.